Welcome to today's video. I am so excited about today's video. I have a special guest. I'm so excited to introduce you guys to my friend, uh, Andra Limont. Uh, you, if that name and her face looks familiar, then you guys probably follow me on Instagram because I've been sharing a little bit about her on my Instagram account. Um, Andra wears many, many hats, but one of the hats that she wears is founder of the Kindness Campaign. Uh, the Kindness Campaign is the nonprofit organization that BK Beauty is partnering with. Um, they go into schools and have a curriculum-based program to teach kids all about kindness empathy and self-love. Um, and I asked Andrew to be on my channel today. We're just gonna be having fun doing some makeup. I'm kind of picking her brain, having a fun uh, conversation because I want you guys to hear her heart and her story. I find her to be such an incredible woman. <laughs> And I just wanted her to be on my channel because I feel like you cannot listen to this woman speak for five minutes and not be inspired or touched by her by her story. So thank you for being on my channel. Thank you for having me. <laughs> All right, you guys, well, let's get started. Okay, so Andrea, I would love to, for you to kind of share, um, you know, how the kindness campaign was born. Like, how did that, how did that start for you? And, and kind of how did you make that come to life? So, you know, several years ago, a dear friend of mine, her daughter, she committed suicide due to bullying, and that was really, that was kind of the, the birth of all of this, and it wasn't necessarily something that I was seeking out, you know? I mean, it, it wasn't really something that I was trying to do. I was actually just trying to connect with my own two children in the midst of something that was really hard in my own life, you know? I think, I mean, you're, you're a mom, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you know, to, to have something like that go on in your life and, and to have, you know, I was really feeling for my friend who it was so devastating for her. And so I, you know, I was, I was really trying to understand what that felt like and, and how to connect with my own children. And so I developed a journal between my daughters and it was just these simple writing prompts mm -hmm. and, we created this character called Enoughy Buddy. And through that, we were really looking for ways for us to really connect together, but also in their school. Because I used to go to the lunchroom and sit with them and, you know, kind of see how they interacted with their peers. Mm -hmm. And it was just a way for me to see, like, what's really going on at school. Mm -hmm. And I thought this book would be something where they could really kind of start interacting with their peers. Mm -hmm. And when I took it to her school, the principal said that he wanted it not just for their classes, but for the entire school. And that wow. kind of blew me away because I thought, wow, okay. And then he championed it and took it to, you know, we took it to five other schools oh, wow. and everybody was wanting it. And it was shortly thereafter, I realized this is becoming bigger than just, you know, my me family, yeah. and my, yeah, my family and these schools. So I, I created uh, a system and, and really I filed for a nonprofit uh, to become a nonprofit. And then I ran into what I say is, you know, a very, a very big moment. I ran into Tracy Spinner, who's now on my board, but she's the director of health and wellness for AISD. And she wanted to take it and, and bring it into all of her schools, which are it is now. It's in over 80 schools in Austin, servicing over 40,000 kids. So wow. we now service uh, pre-K three. Uh, you know, we have journals for pre-K three all the way through fifth grade, and the journal looks very different than the first very I first bet. one that I created with my daughters. But Enoughy Buddy, which is our main character, uh -huh. is still very uh, alive Similar. and yeah. kicking, <laughs> and he is he's the character that the kids get to. Um, you know, learn and go on journeys with in the curriculum. So it's really fun. And I've really enjoyed being to be, uh, you know, just kind of a part of this process. And it's been a big part of my healing, yeah. you know, and yeah. a part of my friend's, friend's healing too. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Enoughy Buddy, can you kind of elaborate on the name? Cause I know where it comes from but yeah. enough, but can you talk about that? So, yeah. I, so I am enough is the main, the main theme, the kind of the foundation of everything we do. And I created uh, with my band, The Misses, a song called uh, called Enough. Can I just say real quick, stop you? <laughs> I have listened to that song probably a hundred times, and I still get a lump in my throat every time I do. Mm. I really do. Uh, I, I, I think you might have seen this on Instagram. I posted a video of my girls and I dancing I to did. it. 
didn't. I did. I think that, I mean, I have goosebumps about that. I just, to me, that song, I mean, it's been, oh, it's six years ago, I think. I get, I get kind of lost in time because I think we're all moving so fast now. Mm. But that song, it really, it resonated with me because I feel sometimes I'm not, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. I think we, I think, I think women, a lot of us feel that way at some point, you know? God, I mean, every day, you know, it's a struggle, especially, you know, moms, moms who, you know, are working or just, you know, trying to do everything. We're just trying to be everything to everyone. Right. And I think when we, you know, when I started writing that song and I was working with the band, you know, I just was breaking down, you know, I was just having so many thoughts and feelings about I'm not enough to my kids. I'm not enough to my husband. I'm not enough to my bandmates. And in talking with my, the girls in the band, Jenny and Mandy and Larissa, we all, you know, they, they were like, we feel that way too. And, and I thought, gosh, you know, I bet a lot of people feel this way. And so when we came out with that song and then the music video, which was the, um, it came out and we, we actually, we created a magic mirror and we put people, what I consider our heroes of our community, you know, teachers and, you know, women who have, you know, been really pillars of our community, put them in front of the magic mirror and let people, uh, their, their loved ones speak to them through this interactive magic mirror and talk to them and tell them how they saw them through their eyes and really let them take it in. And, and gosh, it was so powerful. And that video went viral and, you know, it was just a big moment for all of us. And the reason I, I kind of share that, that story to tell you why a nephew has, mm -hmm. has this, this home and this, and this, um, came to life and with his name is because that was, that was such a journey for us. And when we were on that journey, that's when this whole thing happened in my life with my friend's daughter. I was actually, you know, knee deep in touring around with the magic mirror and really going around telling people that they were enough. And I was, we were, we would go to like the mall of America. We were, we took the, that magic mirror to the top of a rock in, um, in New York. We were going everywhere. And the stories I was hearing were from kids. Kids were coming to the magic mirror and they were saying they didn't feel like they were enough, that they were alone, they were scared. And I was shocked at what I was hearing. And I just never anticipated that I was going to hear this from kids. And then when that happened with my, my friend's daughter, you know, I just... First of all, I just didn't realize bullying was at such a scale at that level. And I didn't know that um, children were taking their own lives. And then I really started doing research and realized that it's the second leading cause of death for teens. And, you know, it's the third uh, leading cause of death overall for people. And I just thought that is, you know, we need to get a handle on that. And so, of course, as I started doing the curriculum and as I've become very deeply involved in all of these things that that song that message mm -hmm. of I'm enough is is so present in all that I do and so I thought you know being enough is everything and enoughy buddy mm -hmm. everybody needs kind of a little buddy by the, their side mm -hmm. and so enoughy buddy came to life and he's adopted he's blue he's round mm -hmm. he has these crazy antennas on top of his head and and I wanted kids to uh, you know feel like they could identify with him, no matter their, what their story was, right? Because the, the, at the end of the day, we all, we all want to connect with someone or something. And I felt like children at three years old, even I connect with an Effie, you know, on, on a lot of different levels and, and, you know, children at that age though, they want to, they want to feel loved and they want to know that they're heard and seen. And that's what an Effie does for kids. And my, my children are a big part of helping me create them. You know, they were... I was going to ask, like, how, how do your kids get to be involved? <laughs> oh, my gosh, every day. Mm -hmm. They help me approve the curriculum. Like, I, I'm sure that they're, you know, mm -hmm. like all the designs. That's why I'm like, it's, it's mom, you know, driven, kid approved. Because <laughs> they literally... Um, I, you know, I'm super busy. I, I run both the Kindness Campaign and the Misses, our band. And I, you know, I'm, I'm just extremely busy, but I'm a mom first. Mm -hmm. And so... Anytime I can bring them in, you know, people are like, how do you balance it? How do you do gonna, it? That was my next question. <laughs> so it's super challenging. But the thing that I do, because I love what I do, is that I try to bring them in and get them involved in all in all aspects. Like I'm having them come speak on a panel coming up mm -hmm. um, for a music uh, leadership group by men. And they're so excited. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's about how kids consume music. But 
you know, in general with the, with the kindness campaign, if I can get them to, um, you know, help me with the curriculum or come speak at events, we do, you know, these, you know, interactive events for community involvement or, you know, for any kind of school things, I do that. But speaking to the curriculum and how they help me, you know, from day one, they were, we had note cards out and they were giving me stories. Enoughy buddy, the stories we tell are real. Mm -hmm. You know, a kid tripped. Oh, I remember her telling me a kid tripped in the lunchroom and all the kids laughed mm. and cause she's telling heartfelt stories of things that were like that are happening, happening mm -hmm. real time. Mm -hmm. So some of the stories that play out are things that I've heard that, that feel real to them. Mm -hmm. And then some of them are, are stories, um, or, or even just the way that, um, that they see the character playing out in the artwork. How does this need to look and feel so that kids connect to it? So that's really what, 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 and why the why the success we're having with the curriculum. We have like over fifty requests nationwide for it. Teachers love teaching it, and you know it's it's easy. It's supplemental. It's easy to pop it out, use it. It can be used it, it, because it's supplemental. It can be used in your music class. It can be used in your history class. Mm -hmm. it can be used however you want. And so it's been really fun. And you know I have stay at home mom or you know. Uh, uh, when, uh, what do you call it? When you educate your kids at home, uh, homeschool. uh, homeschooling, I'm like, Oh my gosh, homeschool, uh, moms who are homeschooling their kids and they're requesting it. So, oh, wow. you know, I just, yeah. we've got all different people asking for the curriculum. That's it's, awesome. it's really cool. That's really it's been, cool. A, it's been quite the journey, but it's really cool. That's so great. And I love that my kids are involved. Yeah. I was going to say it's, it's great to create this curriculum, but even better when it can really resonate with kids yeah. and connect with them, you know, and it's, it's, by having your daughter's input and help, like you're able to do that. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm sure for you, I mean, what you do, it's, it's important so that you have a dialogue. Mm -hmm. I mean, as moms, I have, I have teens. So having a running dialogue with your kids sometimes gets hard. It's mm -hmm. like, okay. Um, you know, mm -hmm. and yours are younger, but when they get older, you're like, how do I connect? Right. Yeah. Cause we're always wanting to have that connection. And yeah. especially with social media being so present oh, yes. today, yeah. it's really important to know, um, that, you know, that there's that place for conversation in real life. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's a real important thing for me right now is that radical connection that I think sometimes we're missing. And it's that in-person touch and, and that, that point of contact for us with our children. Absolutely. Okay. So, um, my next question is where do you see, like kind of where, what's your ultimate goal with the kindness campaign? Where would you like it to be in five, 10 years? Uh, <laughs> the question. Well, so I have a lot of really big goals for the kindness campaign. You know, a lot's been coming to us and it's been really, really exciting. And we've had great, great partnerships, but the thing that we're really seeing a hunger out there for, and this is from corporate America, really. And it's, it's because, you know, tech companies have, and, and, you know, corporations have a lot going on, but the one thing that they are really seeking right now is this hunger for that emotional intelligence. You know, they're really looking for, um, social emotional tools in, in the workplace. And so they're coming to us and asking us to really help build out that curriculum for what their needs are in the workforce and helping to work with their teams there. And so I've been very, very excited to have opportunities with some really big companies. So that over the next five, 10 years is a really big goal and, uh, you know, really exciting times for us because having TKC in schools is where we want it mm -hmm. because that's our future leaders, right? right. Those are, yeah. those are the, the kids are, they're just going to do great things for mm -hmm. their, their leadership is going to be everything for that's us. How, I feel like that's how we change the world is by changing, you know, the changing our future generation, right? Yeah. I mean, having kind leaders is, is everything. And, you know, but corporate America is also where we need to really start setting a tone for, for what, what we want. And so we're moving there and we've got a, a lot of partnerships. We've got a lot of great brand partners like mm -hmm. you. And, and so 
you know, all of these things are really helping us build a strong platform for sustainable funding, for keeping us in the hearts and minds of what society needs. You know, when you when you think about societal change and and really having that conversation of IQ EQ, mm-hmm. to me, um, having that emotional awareness and 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 having those tools available for people is really important. Um, there's a guy and, and there's a lot of research. There was a guy who came in town and recently, and he, he was talking, his name is Trevor Moad and he's phenomenal. If you haven't seen him talk, he's so inspirational, but he also, he's, is he like a motivational speaker? Or? Yeah. And, um, and I love him. He kind of speaks at my, my ch- children's school, but he does, uh, some of these, he brought up this research, which I I've known about as well, but it just is in my mind right now. Cause it's, it's fresh, but he, he brought up that, you know, your brain at positive is 31% more productive than your brain at negative neutral or stressed, which is so true. Mm-hmm. And if you just can, you know, even think about, even if you're just not putting it out there and you're just operating on neutral, it's just so important, you know, mm-hmm. keeping that mindfulness and, and keeping your, all, you know, all of what you're, what you're putting in your mind, what you're putting out there. And if it can be positive, that's great. And if, if, if it's just neutral, that's fine too. Mm -hmm. I mean, some days I just, I just don't say anything. (laughs) Yeah. I'm like, I'm just not going to put anything out there because it's not going to be pretty, you know, (laughs) but But but, just being aware and being in tune with your thoughts and, and, and are they positive or are they negative? Yeah. And, and that's, you know, and so that's what, that what our goal is for corporate America. Cause there's a lot going on. That's where a lot of the stress happens. Mm-hmm, so, right. so we're just kind of going to mend the gap. You know, we, we've got kids all the way through, you know, elementary school to middle and high school now, and then now corporate America. And so it's really exciting times for, for us with all of that. I love that. And if you think about it, you know, kids go, kids learn from what they learn, what they, they see at school and then they learn from what they see at home. Yeah. As, you know, as a, mom to young girls, you know, my girls are just entering school. You know, I, I think about how much influence I have over Mm -hmm. them, but I know that at some point, you know, my influence is going to be a little bit less than it is today. Right. And they're going to have more influence from their friends and, and their teachers and, and the time that they spend at school. And so I think, you know, going into corporations and teaching that it's kind of covering, I mean, it really, I feel like it really kind of full circles back to kids. And I used to tell my, my kids and, and, this is just kind of a, a silly thing, but, but, you know, we all come in with, cause they used to come in with their backpacks when they were little. And I was like, you know, we all come in the house with backpacks. You don't see mommy's backpack or daddy's backpack, mm-hmm. but everybody has an emotional backpack I love that. and we need to unpack those backpacks. Whatever you've got, whatever you're carrying, are you carrying happiness, sadness? Can you identify it? And once you can identify what you're carrying in your backpack, then we can start beginning to begin to understand what each other are are going through. Mm -hmm. So if mommy's got sadness or daddy, you know, whatever he's got going on or, you know, or if, um, you are feeling, you know, joy, whatever it is, I'd like to be a part of that conversation of your emotions. Mm -hmm. And so that is, um, you know, that's the beginning conversation. It is full circle, just Mm -hmm. like you were saying. I love that. I love when you come at me with the, (laughs) I'm like, like, well, it took me a while to get there. I was like, okay, I'm, I'm I'm trying to get there. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, Andrew, now let's switch gears a little bit. Um, I want to ask you what your three like top favorite beauty products are. Ooh, okay. That's a tough one because there's some really good stuff out there right now. Yeah. There's some really good stuff. And now I'm like looking at some of the stuff you used on me and I'm going to have to. <laughs> I know. Well, you're exposed I, to a lot because you get makeup done pretty often. I, yeah. There's, there's some, um, some really good things. So, but, okay. So one of my staples that I've used my whole entire life, I am a child that has had eczema my entire life. I've had really, I'm a fair skin person. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately I've had to really be careful with my skin. Mm -hmm. And so I have them right here, but I have always loved Kiehl's. Kiehl's So I use a bunch of Kiehl's products. So this is the Kiehl's lip balm number one. Yeah. So I use that. I've used that for a bajillion years. (laughs) <laughs> so I don't know how many years that is, but it's a lot of years. So do you apply this just every single, like at night or just throughout the day? All, all day. All I, day. I mean, I probably have 10 of those at all times. Okay. I, I keep, I so reorder. It, it's, it is, I can't live without it. I don't know what I would do if they ever discontinued. 
yeah, and maybe I'm an addict. Is, there, <laughs> is, is that a, a beauty product thing? I'm an addict on yeah, that. Yeah. But and then I get my kids. I, this is Christmas stockings. This is everything. Yeah. Okay. So that's one. So okay. Number one. Now my second favorite. Is Ooh, I love that. Two-Face chocolate bar. It's Mainly because I like chocolate. <laughs> yes, this is one of my favorites. So I've talked about this a lot on my channel. <laughs> yeah, so that's my favorite. Okay, um, you, you, she clearly has some favorite yeah. shadows in there where you can see yeah. Van. Yeah. I love it. Those are my favorite too. Are they? Okay, yeah. yeah. And, and mainly because those are the only colors I know how to use. <laughs> um, it's kind of funny because like I'm like scared of that color. <laughs> That'd be a good eyeliner color. Okay, yeah. Like I'm like, there's certain things I'm a little scared of in here, but definitely. And this is a good one. I yeah. love this so much. And I've got my daughter on the peach. So oh, yeah. she's 12, almost 13. And I'm letting her do a little, nice. a little of the, yeah, like a little of the light colors. Yeah. So um, occasionally yeah. when she dabbles in it. But, um, and then my third, this is a newer one for me. And the reason I like this, it's Be A Light. Um, I guess that's the name of it, but I, I don't know much. I went into Sephora one day and they, I was like, help me out with the highlighting situation. And he sat me in a chair and I was like, oh no. <laughs> and, but it actually was good and I liked it. And this one has, um, it has it all Ooh, in one thing. Yeah, you can tell great. it's like, I'm getting a little nervous cause I'm getting low on the, um, tire. So oh. you, she, she loves the blush. You use that for blush. I do. Yeah. So, and then, and he showed me, you know, you use that all, you use this, I don't know if I'm supposed this to, one here. you're the product girl. Yeah. Use that all over. This is just like here, 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 <laughs> here and there. And then this one was like your bronzer, contour. your contour. Uh -huh. Thank you. And then this was the blush. And so, and so you love this. I do. I use it every day now and it's super easy. And that's I always pretty. feel pretty put together when I have that on. So if I just, if that's all I got to do, I would feel you're covered. Like, yeah. I feel pretty good. And I can also use some of that for if I didn't have eyeshadow, I could use that, you yeah. know? So this one actually could be just a go-to. Yeah. For um, full face, really. Full face. And if I needed to maybe use the blush as like a lipstick, cause mm -hmm. I didn't have, I mean, I felt like if I didn't make, if I was stranded on an island, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's all I had. Cause we'll be <laughs> definitely concerned with our makeup. If we're on an <laughs> I might be hungry, but I would look good. <laughs> I always love that question. If you were stranded on an island, I was like, well, if I was stranded on an island, I think I'd have more things to be concerned about than which makeup products. Exactly. Yeah. So that, those are kind of my top three and I'm, and you know, I, it's really hard to pick three. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh my gosh. Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing Andrew's lips first before I ask her, I have I had a question to ask her, but I don't want to ask her while I'm applying her lips because that's, that's not fair. <laughs> I'm using the Miraness Dual Lip Liner. This one I've been raving about for months. This is the Barely Nudes. It's a really nice, like, pale, kind of muted nude lip look. And I'm just going to go ahead and fill her whole lip in. I just have to say, my husband tried to come in. Just now? Just a few months ago, <laughs> and he was like... <laughs> I was scared of I kind of looked back, and I was like, um... <laughs> Did he know we were doing this? No. <laughs> I always love that when my husband's like, oh... <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, honey. <laughs> <laughs> and for lips, I'm using the Milani Amour Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Enchanting. It is like a really nice peachy pink kind of pop of color. It's like a step up from a nude color, but it's not like, it's not bold. It's kind of in between a, a nude and a pop of color. All right, and just press together. Hmm. Okay. That feels good. That feels good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So we're done. But before I let you go, I want to ask mm -hmm. you one more question. Okay. I want to know what your basic makeup routine is. I know you have a lot of um, social events and you know performances mm -hmm. that you do, but on, on your normal person days, yeah. what, uh, what does your makeup routine look like? Well, in general, I like to, I'll, I'll definitely have this on <laughs> <laughs> and I'll probably do a light foundation. I don't do a lot of powder or anything mm -hmm. like that. So I'll definitely do, you know, just like a nice foundation, clean my face always, mm -hmm. but do a light, you know, foundation and, and that I'll use the be light. And then, um, I always do like either my keels or a little lip gloss and then a light eye, but yeah, it's pretty basic. Pretty light I, yeah, sheer. pretty light, pretty sheer. If I can get away just with doing no makeup, especially if I'm going to rehearsals or, um, you know, I've worked out and I have nothing, I in general won't shower, won't, <laughs> won't, um, you know, I'll work out and just no makeup at all because I just want everything yeah, to, to breathe, breathe and yeah. and I'll just go all natural yeah. all day. So if I can get away with that, that's usually what I'll, what I love to do. Yeah. Um, but in, 
the other is I like a very basic sheer yeah minimalistic look and it's probably fun to be able to do both you know be all glam one day and then be really natural the next yeah when I know I've pushed it too far is when people ask me if I'm sick <laughs> <laughs> I'm like oh maybe I, should, maybe I should put a little concealer on <laughs> a little concealer a little a little blush. I think sometimes it's harder in the winter because, um, you know, everybody's, uh, you know, we're a little, you know, we don't have the sun kiss look. So right. it's a little harder to get away with it in the summer. Yeah. That, that routine is totally, I'm like barely anything and running around and just maybe a little, little blush and a little glitter on the eye and, you know, sheen. a little sheer yeah. on the eye and then lip gloss and go. Cause then I don't have to do as much, but in the winter it's a little bit extra work. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. To not look like I'm sick. Right. I agree. <laughs> to, um, I, some, I, I always love that life. comment when people are asking you, you're like, mm. yeah. oh, you wouldn't believe the comments I get on my videos <laughs> yeah. sometimes. Yeah. It's like, well, I, no, I'm, I'm feeling quite well. Yeah. Why? Why? <laughs> well, thank you so much for doing this. This is so fun. Yeah. Thank I you. I love the way the makeup came out. Thank you. You look beautiful. You haven't seen it yet. I shall let you see oh, it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Please. It was feeling good going on. Ooh, thank so you. I love that lip color. Isn't it pretty? It's a little bit more pop of color than I usually do on you. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. And the eye. I have to get that eyeshadow yes. for sure. I'll give you I'll send yeah. you all the details. <laughs> awesome. All Thanks right. again. All right, you guys, this is the final look. Doesn't she look gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I always enjoy my time with Andrew. Thank you so much for being on my Aww, channel. Thank you. This was really a blast. This was so fun. Really we have to do more it. of this, I think. Every day. Let's just you come, do this. We'll I'll be all set. It. <laughs> I'm going to leave all of Andrew's links down below if you want to follow her. Um, follow the misses. Follow the kindness campaign. Um, she's up to a lot of amazing things, and I highly encourage <laughs> you to check her out. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>